The My Room. My Movie, The Disaster the Artist yeah. is about is the making of an actual film called the Room, now, not the great Brie Larson. Yes, <laughs> okay, yes, yeah. Well, that, was, that was Room, so you, yes. you, you made it no through the room. WGA with the addition of Yeah, a couple years ago when she won, they had, to, at the screenings of The Room, they said, not the Brie Larson. <laughs> <one."> and, uh, <laughs> it came out, he paid for everything. It was $6 million of his own money. It looks about, like, it was made for $6. And he put it out for two weeks to qualify for the Academy Awards didn't qualify, and then it just became a cult hit, and it's been playing for 14 years, once a month, in almost every major city. Wow. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Yeah. Did he ever ask oh. you if you liked his film? I love the film. I mean, <laughs> no, I do. Like, it, I've watched that film almost as much as any, all the James Dean films, I've watched that film about 50 times. It's like the gift that keeps on giving, people just keep coming back, so there, you have to sort of admit there's something there. You know, and I don't think it's just that he made strange, bizarre choices all the way through. I think it's partly the magic sauce is that he, there's so much passion underneath. I mean, there are thousands upon thousands of bad movies that we'll never watch again. But people watch this one over and over. And I think it's partly because of the heart and soul underneath. Oh. Juliet, you need a break. Take a break. I'm okay. She okay. All right, well, I need a break. Then you're fired. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. I know what you say. I hear you and you and you. I hear everybody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What the fuck are you talking about? Where Marcus? Marcus is my film now. This Marcus, I hire him to documentary, the making of the room. He captured every comment. Oh yeah, Tommy weird. Tommy like Frankenstein. He like, feel like vampire rapist. I hear everything. I have ears everywhere. I hear your whispers in your souls. That's one of the crazy uh, things about Tommy Wiseau is uh, on the original poster, he had written the copy. He wrote Tennessee Williams level drama. Shows what he, he thought he had made. He, he, he told people they would not be able to sleep for two weeks after watching a movie because they'd be so devastated. <laughs> and then when it came out, people laughed. Wow. And he had the wherewithal, whatever, to capitalize on that, and he put it out. And he didn't take Tennessee Williams-level drama off the poster. He just added an enjoyable black comedy. <laughs> so it's like both. It's so both. he can do both. He went into that trying to just make a, a movie that would, you know, move people, the best movie that he could. Is that how you approach the role as well? Being an actor, playing an actor? I tried to make the best movie I could. <laughs> I, 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 no, but, I, but it was about how I treated him. I treated him with, as, with respect as somebody, mm -hmm. as an outsider artist just trying to do what we're all trying to do. You know, everybody that comes to Hollywood is on the outside and with a dream. It's all of us. A month of rehearsal sounds amazing, and yeah, it's it almost good. unheard of. Mm. You know, yeah. I'm sure you and Joe Wright like led the charge on that. Like, but you know, this is what you want to be yeah. a part of this movie. This is what we're doing, and all yeah. that. But I also think like sometimes it depends on the type of film. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> for example, like I don't know, maybe you guys had a month of rehearsal for the Florida Hodges. I don't know, but I remember doing another Florida movie, Spring Breakers, and part of the vibe of that is immersing into the environment mm -hmm. and bringing, you know, sure. uh, the real people in. And so I really don't think a month of rehearsal with, like, non-actors is going to help. But, that, but that, that was the Harmonies film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Which you were yeah. superb. Um, I heard you like, watched it and you didn't know it was me. I, I had no idea it was you. <laughs> and, right. Yeah. That's an incredible and, thing. I said, that, God, that creepy... Ass guy, where'd you find him? And they go, this one's Franco. Yeah. <laughs> What's most surprised you about the actual profession of being an actor? It's, it's an interesting profession where I remember it was around, it was like a year that I was actually doing Spider Man. Willem Dafoe was playing my dad. Robert De Niro had just played my father in a different movie. And it was like, this is one of the only professions, I think, where it's like you get to work with all your heroes and, um, and in such an intimate way. You know, in the most cases, it's usually like just, you know, a dream come true. And it's, and it's, and it's you know, in addition to everything else that's just so great to be able to do this for a living, like to actually get to work with your living heroes is like mm. amazing. I, and, I, and my guess is there's not a lot of professions that work quite, quite that way.
Ready? Okay, quiet on set. And I lock down the lens. Yeah. Let's do it. Hi, I'm John Boyega. I'm Sam Rockwell. Welcome to Foe. Emma Stone. Alice and Janney. Thank you. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. On YouTube.